What's up, y'all? This is your boy Lucha Guy, and I'm back with another video. They have announced more matches for this uh, United We Stand event. And then this one here is an Ultimate X match. There's one more participant, as you see here, that has to be yet announced. Um, they have right now from Impact Wrestling this Jay Christ guy. They have from AAA, which is from oh, he also was on Lucha Underground, Jack Evans. They have some guy from MLW. I assume the Kuto Brazil, and then they have a Pat Bug from Russell Pro, and then representing Lucha Underground, they have Dante Fox. So this week, because I remember in the last video I said would Dante Fox be a part of this, so they did bring him in. So Dante Fox will be a part of this event. And shout out to this guy on my channel, Angelo Roberts. He he made me think of something that um I didn't think of yet. And this since Impact Wrestling always does like invasion angles, like they like Global Force Wrestling. Global Force Global Global Force Wrestling didn't amount to nothing. They didn't amount to jack shit. They didn't have one show on their own. They didn't even get a real TV deal. It didn't let Global Force Global Force Wrestling merge or Impact Wrestling. Just because Impact Wrestling needed something fresh and different. As you see the green it says wrestling. They got from GFW. So why can't they just let Lucha Underground do an invasion angle on Impact? Would you guys be down for that? Like an invasion angle of Lucha Doors from Lucha Underground on Impact? Just have Dario Cueto pop up and be like, well, Air Raid decline or they cancel Lucha Underground so now Impact Wrestling is my new temple. I know it's not really a temple. They actually have a stage. They have a Titan Tron. They, I mean, they're more professional looking for a wrestling show than what Lucha Underground is on Impact. They do have a stage. They do have a Titan Tron. So, should they let Lucha Underground do an invasion angle on Impact? Because a lot of people believe once AEW exists, once AEW get their real TV show, who's going to be watching Impact? A lot of believe Impact might go down to like number four or number five in the USA because number one would still be WWE. AEW would be number two. People think Ring of Honor would be number three. So, Impact Wrestling might even get bummed down to number four or number five. So, I mean, should they let this Lucha Underground take over soon and do an invasion angle? You guys let me know. Would you guys be down with that? There's one thing right here. This is tonight's uh, lineup for Impact Wrestling. You see Jeremiah Crane right there. They call him Sammy Callahan. This is a match here with Jay Christ versus the Mac. They call him Willie Mac. And then this match here, I don't know these guys, Ethan Pig and Wits. Assume that's one of the rascal people with Desmond Xavier. Um, I just found out Tessa Blanchard. She's dating Ricochet, a.k.a. Prince Puma. And then here, this is... Like two or three out of four of these guys are on Lucha Underground. You got Johnny Impact, which is Johnny Mundo. You got Cage. And then you got Killer Cross, the White Rabbit. And you got this guy, Moose. So a lot of these guys, 95% of the roster on Impact, anyways, Lucha Underground talent. So should they just let Lucha Underground do a damn invasion angle anyway? But I just want to say I lost all interest for Double or Nothing for this event, United We Stand. I mean, this is like, I already showed you guys this before, but you're going to have Cage, Johnny Mundo, Impact, Eddie Edwards, and Moose versus, that's Team Impact versus Team Lucha Underground of Drago, Daga, Edo, Star, and King Quino. And then another match I didn't show you guys last time is this. This is the main event. RVD and Sabu versus the Lucha Brothers. They're not announcing Pentagon and Phoenix from Lucha Underground, I guess. Because I know Pentagon is dark on the show. He wrestles alone, and Phoenix also turned dark last season. So, I mean, I guess that's good in a way because they will have to wrestle alone and try to market them as the Lucha Brothers. One thing, I don't care to see Pentagon wrestling in a tag team. I like him wrestling by himself, a badass, breaking, snapping arms. I mean, I know a lot of you guys said you guys like that better, too, for Pentagon being by himself, snapping, breaking arms, being a badass. Because, I mean, like, uh, most companies or promotions, they show them as the Lucha Brothers in a tag team. Only on Lucha Underground, they have their own universe. It's Pentagon being a luchador ninja from Japan. His master's being Vampiro, who always, I guess, betray him. And then he's like a one-man. He's another one-man army, but Pentagon stands alone. He breaks arms after matches. This is what makes his matches, to me, interesting on Lucha Underground. On Impact, he doesn't really break people's arm. I don't see him attempting to do that when I do see the highlights. I will watch tonight's show, but I can't even review Impact on my channel because this Pursuit channel, I don't even get it, so I can't even review a full episode of tonight's uh, Impact. 
But um, you guys let me know what you think down below about this whole Impact Wrestling United restand. Are you guys going to see it? Are you guys more excited for I mean, like to me, I'm more excited for that than definitely WrestleMania 35 and uh, Double or Nothing. This has got my attention so far this year. So they got Dante Fox representing Lucha Underground. So he will come on how he does a Lucha Underground. So this is very cool and very awesome. I will I will definitely review this. And more matches has to be announced. There's one more guy. Who do you guys think this is going to be? I wonder what they bring out. De um, What's his name? I know he left the show. But can he even do one more match for Lucha Underground? Kill shot. Shane Strickland. Can we get kill shot near with Dante Fox? Could he represent CCW or Shane Strickland? Or we represent Killshot from Lucha Underground? I mean, because last year, no, he was a part of the um, WrestleCon event where it was Impact vs. Lucha. This year isn't really Impact vs. Lucha. It's more of Impact vs. everybody else. AAA, Dragons, Gate, MLW, Russell Pro, Lucha Underground. But yeah, this is your boy Lucha Guy, and I'll be back with any news about Lucha Underground Season 5. And right now, like I said, Season 5 news looks dead, because last year this time, they was already doing the tapings for Season 4 of Lucha Underground. And this year, we haven't heard anything about Season 5 of Lucha Underground. But this is your boy Lucha Guy, I'm out. Comment, Monster Slam, that like and subscribe button. Peace.